if you have an assistant that works for you, you can have an assistant that is either licensed or unlicensed. Licensed assistant is a good thing to have because that they can do anything a broker can because they have an unlicensed. An unlicensed assistant may be a good thing, but there are certain things an unlicensed assistant cannot do. They cannot prepare ads or material, promotional material, without the review of the licensed person. So they can't put out ads without somebody going, yeah, that's okay. They obviously can't show property. They can't hold open houses. Those are all licensed required activities. They can't negotiate contracts. They can't answer questions about commission. All they can do is customer level service. Yes, it's for sale. Yes, it's three bedrooms. Oh, is he motivated? I can't help you with that. That requires specific knowledge. They cannot conduct telemarketing. This is the big one that everybody gets a problem with. They are legally not allowed to call a buyer and go, hey, I saw your house expired yesterday. My boss, Raymond, would like to come see you about listing your property. That's a violation. They can find that information for me and go, hey, I did a search of the internet. Here's the four that expired. As a licensed person, I can call them and schedule. They also can't negotiate on my behalf. If you have an unlicensed person doing licensed activity, that is a violation, and you could be drug in front of the court then. All right, any questions about the state laws? Nope, all right.